Not surprisingly, geese adapted to and utilized refuge farmlands. Today, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Management incorporates this response into their rotational plan. Farmed lease lands can be periodically flooded, creating wetlands for wildlife. After one to three years, they are drained and returned to agricultural use. They'll also be foraging on thousands of acres of, of crops, farm crops that are grown by, by local growers. Um, it, it's really quite a, uh, quite a dance between the wetlands, the agricultural community, and the crops that are grown. As we stand here, I've, I've been watching um, ibis flying back and forth. Well, they're flying into some of the permanent marshes on the south end of the unit to go to their nests. And then they're going back just across the highway to some flooded pasture land to forage back and forth. Um, it's, it's quite a relationship that, that agriculture and the refuges have developed, but it's one that's been very positive for wildlife. The traditions of, of wildlife are in every one of us. Whether it's a tradition in, of waterfowl hunting, whether it's a tradition of, of wildlife observation, um, whether it's a tradition as you grow your crops, you know that you're going to have some wildlife use on those crops. And there isn't a farmer here who hasn't given up some of their crops for wildlife. But it's something that not only do they, ex do they accept, but it's also something that when you talk to them, they look forward to seeing those birds return every year. Thus, the interests of wildlife and agriculture have become intertwined in the basins. A triad of vista, waterfowl, and farming. <laughs>